thanks to McCarthy Tire that came out right quick this morning. I was impressed. The offset's a little different on it. But I don't know if you can see in there. It's a little bit close. It's not rubbing. Um, I think the only thing we might have some trouble with is get a stick run up in there or something, but I don't know. We'll just have to play it by here and see. I just have to see how it goes. It's Baker's camping choosers at this point. We're back to work. You know, we lost a few hours on Friday and we lost a half a day today. It's we got running about 12:30. So if the offset becomes a problem, other than cosmetics, we'll have to get us another wheel from somewhere. But we're back up and running. Still no word on the cutter yet. So I don't know. I have to call that guy to see it and try to get the down low on what's going on there. But, but at least we're back to flopping and topping anyway. Cutter's just a luxury, not a necessity. So whenever it gets here, it gets here, I guess. But yeah, McCarthy Tire hooked us up. That's who I bought the tires from anyhow. But yeah, they hooked us up. I called this morning about 7.30. They said we can have a guy out right away within an hour. So we rushed back over here, had to re-thread all the bolt holes. They were all hemmed up, obviously. So we had to re-thread all them. And But uh, but yeah, we're all, we're back to work now. Well, good morning. We got, uh, shoot, I don't know, inch and a half rain last night. But uh, it's clear cut, so who cares? Um, and it's pretty well flat ground, so we ain't having trouble falling around. It's supposed to blow about 50 today, so we're going to work till the wind gets here. Hourly saying about 9, 10 o'clock. It's supposed to wind, supposed to pick up, so we'll work till then anyway. Get, I'm up pretty firm believer anything over 30 is making it a little bit more dangerous than it needs to be. So. And since young bucks cutting and he's green, you know, it ain't no point. It's just, you know, he cut in the wind a little bit yesterday. So, uh, but, you know, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts is a bit too much. So we'll see. Like I said, the hourly saying about 9, 10 o'clock, that's going to be here. And, uh, yeah, when it gets here, we'll just throw in the towel. Nobody else is here today. The landscapers putting super supplements up. They ain't here. The clearing guys, they're not here. So, it's not like we got to try to stay ahead of anybody, right? So, yeah. We're, uh, Thankful it's a clearing job, so we can mod it out if we need to. Keep the wood moving. Not sure if we're gonna get trucks today, but we'll see. So hopefully it all goes well and we uh, make a few bucks. Now you can see she's a little sloppy. I guess we're getting back into the normal routine there. We've been pretty lucky here the last three weeks, I guess, but. Oh, well, it is what it is. Well, good morning. Uh, today's Wednesday. They made us quit working yesterday. The uh, superintendent on the job's doing the Site work rolled in here yesterday, concerned about getting mud in the creek. We were far enough from the creek, so it wasn't an issue. Kind of, if we were working in the woods long and it wouldn't matter. So we got here today. Uh, 
I don't know. The more daylight it gets, the worse it's probably going to get. Yeah, look at them top. You guys are watching this. Not only do you risk losing a saw, which right now, with the way things are trying to get new chainsaws, is, you know, you match the saw, you're not only out the saw, but you match it up up and down. Yeah. I did get lucky enough yesterday, I was up the saw shop dropping one that broke down off stuff. One of them was accounted for, but the other one was still available. I grabbed it up. <laughs> Being in the right place at the right time. I didn't want the 661. I'm partial to the 500s now, but beggars can't be choosers. But I think we're going to have to scratch it today. Maybe, uh, hang out a little longer just to see if it's not going Well, we're piling back to work today. We, uh, I came back over here yesterday later on in the day, tried to cut some, didn't go well. So we, uh, with the wind yesterday, had to scratch it, we didn't have a choice. It kind of laid down there around lunchtime. I come back over by myself, was gonna, you know, try to get a load out or something for this morning, but it was just too bad. They weren't getting hurt over. So we're, uh, it's going to be a pretty unproductive week. I think they've hauled three loads so far today, this, as of right now, this week. I think they'll probably get five today. So hopefully they get five. We get trucks in here at a decent time. We're going to cut five, so they can haul out of here tomorrow in the rain. But we'll see if they do. Oh, young buck, he's full of spunk this morning. Now we got to push one here for him. Let's see how I get in there. Uh, he's got me in a little bit of a rough spot here. Uh, I can see him straight there. Let's see how he can do that. Yeah, he's got trees laying all over the place. So we should get something done. The new guy, he's not here today. He still has been having quite a bit of trouble getting here on time. And he called out sick today. Claims he's going to the doctors this morning. At some point he'll be back later today, but I'm not holding my breath. I don't think he's really gonna Work out the greatest, but timber. But we'll see. Time will tell, I guess. I don't know. I, that fellow, no, I keep on calling him a kid, but he's 30 years old now. But it's just some people out here just won't get it together. You know what I mean? I, they just, it's too hard for them to get it together, I guess. I. This is probably, I think this is the third time. I had him come to work and try to work for me. I feel bad for him because he's a he grew up with my brother, so I've known the poor kid his whole life, but he just I don't know, he just wouldn't grow up. You know, you can't make them grow up. Yeah, young buck, he's Typical 18 year old, you know, 
when you give you the option there to work or not. But yesterday, both of them could have went back to my yard and quit firewood. They chose to go home, so. Whatever, I gave them the option. I mean, they'd have worked to the debate them, but. One day because they wouldn't let us work, we missed one day because of rain, or no, wind, one day because of wind, and Friday we missed. So we only worked two days this week, so eight loads is all right, I guess. Got good news, though. We're going down to get the cutter. I think we're leaving tomorrow morning. Buddy of mine's in town. He's, we're borrowing a truck from somebody else. We're going to go down tomorrow morning. I think we're going to stay tonight at a place, uh, Phoenix Honda, which is a um, race team, motorcycle race team, which is going to be cool. That's going to be neat. I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store there. but So we're going to stay the night there, check that out, hang out with them guys, and then uh, go to the logger shop where we're picking the cutter up in Wilkesboro first thing Tuesday morning, come back up the road. So I'm going to try to get some video of that, and then uh, hopefully we'll be uh, whacking and stacking with a cutter come Wednesday morning. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate the support, and... Uh, We'll see you next week.